race seven is the gold circle racing youtube channel conditional graduation kicks off at four o'clock it's over 1200 meters we've got a field of seven runners just to update the scratchings there's no scratchings currently for race number seven i'm going to give you my top four selections it's three five two and seven very small field but a little bit tricky i'm going to touch on number three spring high has consistent form in its last three starts the ratings has dropped it's four kgs better off than the favorite number five which is Giacomo Puccini at 13 to 10 take note these two horses both three-year-olds both two-time winners very difficult to separate them so I'm gonna go narrowly with number three spring high Giacomo Puccini 13 to 10 Anton Marcus good la good last run jumps from gate five and is in with a lively chance Include numbers two and seven in your quartets and trifectas. Touching on two could be the value bet each way. Look at his second last run. He's ran second to Captain Fontaine. So that's very inspiring. Include number two, Hooves of Troy in all your bets for some good value. Warren, small race, a little bit tricky. You want to touch on your selections? Devon, I'm glad that you mentioned number two, Hooves of Troy, because... I expected a big effort from him last time, and I was probably expecting a little too much because it was a hot field. This is also fairly a hot field, but I, I know he's better than that sixth to Captain Tatter, so I have got him in as my value selection. Well spotted. Number two, Hooves of Troy, a must for everything. Seven, Ramchin, Dani Road, knocking at the door. 53 kilograms, Muzi Yeni keeps the ride. He's probably going to be my narrow but non-confident first choice. And the top of the best weighted column is a horse called Prince of Taranto. And I feel that we have to mention him because he's lightly raced. His last run, for me, I'm just going to draw a line through, through that last run. He ran six lengths off Bayview Express. His penultimate start was a good run behind Indigo. His overall form is very good. And I know the stable think quite highly of the Son of Crusade. So forgive number six, Prince of Taranto, for his last run. My numbers, six two and seven so we're a little different but it's that competitive very competitive and i'm glad you touched on number six prince of toronto the guy should definitely include it in larger poems whether you're taking a swinger trifecta could be some value it's currently at eight to one sereno mudley aboard and you can forgive him for that last run you know he's, he's definitely better than that one couldn't agree with you more i'm expecting a lot more from prince of toronto that's race seven next up is the final event on the program the eighth Thank <laughs> you.